Hey there guys, so today I'm going to show you how to solve this problem over here, alright? And it's going to be pretty easy actually. And I got this formula, uh, um, this uh, formula over here. Um, <clears throat> and well, I, I have this formula over here because uh, we're going to use it. And first, let's analyze uh, what uh, we're exactly doing here. So we have a... Um, a numerator, a denominator, and the advantage of this problem is that we only have one denominator. All right, so the denominator is over here, the numerators over here, <clears throat> and we know that this can be the described. You know, this is a pretty simple math uh, rule. We know that this is the same as. Sorry, let me choose another color to make it more clear. So we know that this is equal to this all right each one of the terms that we have up here divided by uh, the the denominator so this would be minus 6 x over x plus 5 over x all right so this is a pretty simple rule that is going to help us uh, to determining the integral of this problem all right and let's not forget uh, dx all right so written in parentheses and we want to get the integral let's not forget that so now we can apply this rule over here it's the same as the derivatives remember that when you are deriving a, a problem um, you th it's similar to this uh, the uh, the uh, the sums of different uh, terms can be derived as um, the individual uh, derivatives of each term, and it's the same with the integrals. As you can see here, the integral of an amount of terms that are obviously adding up or resting is equal to the individual integral of each one of those terms that are adding up or resting them so as we can see here we got one two and three terms here so we're gonna need to get the integral of one of each one of them so the first one is uh, the integral of x 3 over x minus the integral of 6x over x. The last one is 5x, right? dx. So there, there we have it. Now, this is pretty clear, you know, uh, what, what is the next step, is, uh, it's pretty clear here. So first, uh, we're going to do the, the first term. So let's do it uh, down here. So we're going to get the integral of x to the 3, to 3 over x. And how we're going to get it? Well, um, the easiest way is just to pass this x up here just by applying the radical rule that we're going to um, make this in invisible uh, power to the 1. Make it, We're going to make it negative. So this is going to be the same as x, right, x to the 3 multiplying x to the minus 1. Remember that here's a number 1. And why why am I doing this? As you should know by now, the power rule is one of the most easiest uh, integrating rules that you can apply at any time. So since this is a very easy problem, you can identify pretty easily that uh, you are able to do this radical uh, movement here. And 
as you should also know algebraically when you're multiplying um, similar terms all you gotta do is uh, sum up or rest up the powers or the ex exponents so in this case we would have uh, we're going to simplify this and it would be the integral of x to the 2 all right because 3 minus 1 is going to be 2 right and now you can apply the power rule remember that the power rule is nothing but you uh, let me uh, put it uh, up here or down here remember that u to the n du is equal to u n plus 1 over the n plus 1 all right and we're getting the the integral <coughs> So uh, this is the the power rule, all right? Power rule integrating because there's another power rule for uh, derivatives. And now we're just going to apply this power rule as we can see here. Uh, we have x to the two. And by the way, um, I was um, leaving out the dx. So. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I forgot that uh, we got another dx on each one of these terms. So there's a dx. Remember that this dx is multiplying each one of those. So let's not forget about the dx, the x differential that is multiplying everything here. This is very important all right so let me put it right here because we know that uh, we need this to apply properly the the rule and finally we're going to apply the rule mentally uh, I'm not gonna waste time on doing this thing pretty simple so we know that this is going to be x to the 3 divided by 3 all right, and let's not forget the constant. All right, so this is plus c, and we, there we have it. Now we need to determine the second term. All right, so this is the second one, and uh, for this, I'm I'm gonna do it uh, over here. All right, to make it cleaner for you all. All right, yeah, that's perfect. And the second one is going to be simply the integral of 6x divided by 6. All right. <coughs> and again, the simplest thing that you can do is just uh, pass this up here with the rad applying the radical rule and this is going to be nothing but uh, by the way I'm, I'm forgetting here the the dx right very important let's not forget about the dx and well anyway applying the rule this is going to be 6x multiplying x minus 1 all right and as we can as we can see here, this x and this uh, x are multiplying, so we will need to s add up the uh, the exponents. So we know that there's a uh, one here. So one minus one is zero, and we know that uh, this uh, any variable powered to the zero to zero is going to give us one. So basically this is going to be 6 times 1 and this is obviously nothing but six dx now we're going to integrate and this is super simple part all you gotta do is apply the the rule that you just uh, 
whenever you have a constant multiplying, you can just put it as, uh, outside the integral, and this would be 6 integral of dx. And since this is the basically the derivative of x, all you gotta do is eliminate this derivative and this integral. And this is going to give us 6x. So let's write it down over here. 6x. And this is the final answer. Alright, just to uh, uh, make it clear for you. Now, last problem. So let's do the, the last problem, which is simply, let's do it with a blue color. Alright, so the third, let me, let me move uh, a little bit down. Well, actually, I need to copy the, the problem, so let me write it down right here. Perfect. So the third problem is 5 over x. We need to get the integral, and we have the x differential over here. And this is the same thing. All you got to do is pass the x over here. Pretty simple. This is going to give us the integral of 5x minus 1. There we go. Time dx. Alright, so this is going to be... Uh, we're going to apply the same rule that we just put us uh, outside the, the constant, the constant that is 5. And we're going to get the integral of x minus 1 times dx. Applying the rule, we're going to get 5, don't forget the constant, x. Alright, as you can see, there's a problem here. There's a problem here. We would be getting a 0. Remember that we do not want a 0. And we would be dividing by 0. So this is basically impossible to, to do. So what exactly do we need to do? Let me uh, erase. Alright, so what we're going to actually do here is another method. And there's uh, this formula here that I'm going to put down here. And this uh, formula is going to help us. Actually, this formula is uh, used a lot, so uh, you should uh, know it. Basically, it's du over u. So this is the derivative of u. u is the function. And this is equal to the natural logarithm of u plus c. So since we're not able to use the power rule here as I uh, just demonstrated to you, uh, there's, an, there's always another way, all right, uh, just to make it clear for you. So this is the other way for these situations where you get a x to the 0. You can uh, try this method. Usually it works. And let's analyze why does it work? How come this formula help us better than the power rule? So first of all, we have this, which is the same as 5 dx over x. So we know that this is the same, right? Algebra algebraically, we know that this is the same. And as you can see here, we have similar 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 similarities similarities we have similarities here we have x which could be u and we have the x which obviously is the u but what about this 5 as you can remember we can just put outside the integral the constant and we can integrate normally so this would be like this dx over x and there we go we can now apply this thing over here so how would we ap apply it just 5 don't leave uh, don't forget the 5 and let's put the natural logarithm of u which you remember that I said this is u this is du 
and we put U plus C. And there you have it. Now, we're almost done here. The only thing that we need to do, the extra thing, is putting everything together, remember? So we're going to put everything together. We have uh, the integrals of each one of the, of the terms, so we're going to put them together. The first one is x to the 3 over 3, all right? So this is the first one. Let's put it over here. Let's continue. And this is going to be x3 over 3. All right. And then we're going to add the second integral which is 6x so let's add it uh, but remember that we have minus sign here so let's put the minus sign remember minus sign over here minus sign over here integral of 6 is 6x over x is 6x plus the last integral and why by the way I forgot to put here integral and we know that is right over here all right so sorry sorry so this is the third integral the second integral and let's not forget about the first integral just to make it clear for you all right and well now let's add the last integral 5l n which is natural logarithm let's apply an x plus c and that's it brothers oh, by the way you know um it should be over here uh 6x plus c all right so algebraic i mean in calculus that is the correct way to do it so let me put it again 6x plus c there we go now if you have any questions please let me know in the comments i'll be uploading a lot of more videos so have a good one